Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Ann Strange and I am grateful for this opportunity to share a little bit of my experience um, with you. Let me start by saying that patience is not one of my virtues. It is not. I want a actions and answers here and now. Please, thank you. I don't like to wait. I'm also very stubborn. Um, yeah, my friends and family would agree with that, that I am. I work daily to understand that I am not always right. I'm not. And I struggle with that. When I combine my impatience with my stubbornness, a lot of times I become anxious and stressful. Those are not good for me. Um, when I become anxious and stressful, I'm not always nice. That's also not a very good thing. I'm aware of my limits and I pray about them daily, sometimes hourly, depending on the day. And I think back to Proverbs 12 and 25, um, which says, anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. So I've learned to speak kindly to myself, um, forgiving myself when I mess up, which is on a regular basis, um, asking forgiveness for the people that I've spoke to, maybe in an unkind way, or I've been short with, or I've not extended grace and mercy to them. Um, it's important to ask for that forgiveness. It's also important to forgive yourself. Sometimes my impatience and my stubbornness com combine to make chaos. Um, a very good friend of mine told me several years ago that God is not the author of chaos. And I've come to learn how very true that is. So for me, when life begins to feel very chaotic, I have to find a quiet place and I have to go reconnect with Jesus. Um, a quiet place sometimes is, um, if I'm at work, sometimes I'll just walk down the hallway and really focus on, on my time with God. That quiet time, um, help me to shake off this chaos, God, because I know it's not of you. You didn't, you didn't write this one, um, and I'm stuck in the middle of this play, and it's time for me to exit stage left and get reconnected with you. It's also important for me to remember, and I, I, I say this regularly, um, let's go to Philippians 4 and 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, everything, give thanks and make your requests known to God. That doesn't mean that you go to God and say, I want, I want, I want, and you're going to get it. But you can take your requests to him. But in all things, be thankful. Um, in, in the good times, the bad times, the highs and the lows, in the darkest of times, you can find things to be thankful about. Sometimes you've really got to scratch that surface to find the silver lining, but it's there. And it's so important to be thankful and to understand that God is God no matter what. The good times, the bad times, God is God. There have been different times in my life going through very trying times. Um, most of those times, at one point or another, I heard God whisper to me, be still and know that I am God. There again, that stubbornness and my impatience um, I want to reach over and take the wheel. I'll drive this one, God. I've got it. God just waits until I run up against a wall and he says, know that I am God. And that's so important for me. If you allow him, he will change you. He changes me on a daily basis. I am not the person now that I was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago when I came to know Jesus as my Lord. He changes me daily, sometimes hourly. And I have learned to allow myself um, to be, to allow myself the grace of being a work in progress. For me, that's, that's really important. Um, it's easy in times of sorrow and uncertainty, and goodness gracious knows we are in uncertain times right now. It's real easy to lose the focus on what matters. Let me ask you to just be quiet for a moment and listen and hear that voice that says, be still and know that I am.